On Tuesday, the U.S. Supreme Court will hear oral arguments on DACA. This comes after several people filed lawsuits challenging President Trump's decision to end it. Now DACA recipients and their supporters are traveling from all over the country to D.C. to watch the case unfold. It's also a decision that could affect thousands of people right here in East Tennessee. Reporter Gabrielle Hayes has the story. Now, whatever comes out of these hearings this week could affect hundreds of thousands of people nationwide. But on a local level, students right here in Tennessee say this is their story, too, and they're headed to the Capitol tomorrow to share that with the world. Nearly 200 protesters from New York are marching to D.C. ahead of Tuesday's DACA hearing. 500 miles away, Maryville College sophomore Alexa Mikeo Toledo, along with four classmates, plans to go, too. I'm going to D.C. to the Supreme Court specifically for the DACA hearing case coming up. But her reason is personal. I'm a DACA recipient and it's kind of my livelihood and I feel like I want to put a face to the, to the policy. The hearing comes after President Trump ruled to phase out the program in 2017. DACA, or Deferred Action on Childhood Arrivals, allows qualified immigrant children to apply for deferred action for a two-year period. The program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. It's a move that led several individuals to file lawsuits, a group of cases that now rest in the hands of the Supreme Court. Obviously, you know, I get that personal aspect to it. The decision also matters to Jose Franquez, who's going to school to be an accountant. You know, it affects me directly what they decide at the end of the day. He and Alexa will be joined by Alejandra Yanez, who was born in the U.S., but is going to show support. There needs to be other people who advocate for them. Tuesday's hearing will consist of oral arguments, statements that could change the lives of as many as 800,000 people. This hearing includes three different cases consolidated into one. The court is asked to decide whether or not the Department of Homeland Security decision to wind down DACA can be reviewed by courts and whether or not ending it was lawful in the first place.